Um, hi, my name is Rebecca, and for my hackathon project, I wanted to build a game. And I wanted to do it in React, which uh, was probably my first mistake. But I found this cool NPM package called React Game Kit. And I thought this was really going to help and um, wanted to kind of dig into that a little bit. So uh, one of the things that I learned uh, was that you really want to look and see how many downloads and how many issues are open and how frequently it's used before you actually use one of these things. Because that will tell you a lot as to whether it's going to work for you. Uh, so the short answer is it did not work for me. But I spent a lot of time learning uh, that React Game Kit. This is what I was able to build out of it, was a maze. Well, my goal was to build a maze. And I have a little sprite there, which came with React Game Kit. And he's nicely moving. You can see him moving. But he will not move in this maze for the life of me. So I ended up giving up on that. And I went with just like a simple maze. It's, uh, it, well, and again here, I made another mistake. Because I call it simple maze. But as you can see, it's really not a simple maze. It actually takes forever to get through. And it's quite complicated. Um, so my testing was a little bit delayed. See, I need to get to that like green circle there. It takes forever. But it does work. When you finally get there, it says congratulations, and it works. So ultimately, what I'd like to do is turn this into um, a multiplayer game where you can have two players, and they're playing against each other. Um, and then as the levels go, I would like to just switch so that when you're pressing the down button, you're actually moving up, which should be really simple in my code. It's just a switch statement that takes the key, um, the key entry. And I would just assign it a different key code so that it moves in the opposite direction. So uh, that's my goal, and I'm hoping uh, to work on that. But this is where it is as of right now. That's it.